In this tutorial, we'll look at how to ready your products for listing on eBay. Open the eBay properties page of the product you want to prepare. Before a product is ready for listing, a red X will display on the eBay properties page. Hovering your mouse over the X will display the required fields that still need to be completed in order to list on eBay. When all required fields have been entered, the red X will change to a green check. Click the eBay Enable checkbox. Checking this box will not launch your product to eBay. It will only allow it to be listed when you choose to do so. For certain products, eBay has a catalog format similar to the Amazon Single Product Detail page where one listing has multiple sellers. The following steps will ready your product for the product catalog, provided that the listing already exists in the catalog. Search for the product in the catalog by selecting the search term type from this catalog type dropdown and entering the identifier or keyword here. The default catalog type in Seller Cloud will be the UPC code. Clicking Find will allow you to capture the basic product information from the eBay catalog. Now that the product conforms to the catalog listing requirements, you will be able to list your product in the catalog. This check tab will determine if your product has been linked to the catalog. The auction start price refers to the lowest price you're willing to sell your item when selling it in an auction format. Bidding will start at this price. The buy it now price is the price offered both in the fixed price format and as an option in the auction format. The reserve price is the lowest price that the seller is willing to accept for the item. If the submitted bids do not reach this price, all bids will be rejected. By checking the second chance enabled checkbox, a message will be sent to the losing bidders with an offer to buy the item at their last bid amount. It's up to the buyer to decide whether to accept the offer. This message will only be sent if there is available quantity of the product. When checking this option, a field will display where you can set a minimum bid amount to which the offer will be sent. For example, by entering $30, the second chance offer will only be sent to bidders who placed a bid of at least $30. When listing in a fixed price format, the fixed price listing quantity will be the quantity displayed on eBay. Entering a lower fixed quantity can be beneficial for several reasons. Because a limited quantity is displayed, it may encourage a buyer to decide on the purchase more quickly. A lower fixed quantity will also give your products greater exposure on eBay's Smart Search. By checking the replenishable checkbox, your listing on eBay will continually post, regardless of available quantity. This is a valuable option when the item is readily available from your vendor. The Best Offer Enabled option will allow you to receive an offer from a customer which you can accept or reject. Upon acceptance, the customer is required to purchase the item. You can also set limits by which an offer will be automatically accepted or rejected. Checking the Generate Fixed Price Listing checkbox will allow a fixed price listing to be posted automatically, provided that there is available inventory and the product is ready. When the item comes back in stock, it will automatically relist. Auctions can be posted for a specified duration. Checking the Use Minimum Listing Duration option will reveal a drop-down where you can select a duration time for your auction. Here you can select an eBay category. Make sure to follow through all of the subcategories. The condition of the product is the Seller Cloud Category Condition, which includes in it the condition as defined by eBay. Product conditions can be set under the Settings tab. The Store category refers to the category under which your product is placed in your eBay store. Let's look at the Item Specifics tab. For some products, eBay requires more specific attribute information, like the brand and model name. Click on the Item Specific tab and select the required attributes from the drop-down menus. If an attribute you need is not in the drop-down, select Other and enter the brand into the empty field next to it. You can create your own specifics by clicking on the Custom Specifics button, then choose Categories and enter names and values. Categories can be created under the Settings tab and clicking on Product Specific Category. The Custom Specifications tab is an HTML editor in which you can enter product-specific information. 
The Parts Compatibility tab is related to eBay Motors and deals with fitments. Select a shipping template from this drop-down. Your shipping options will be configured and displayed on eBay. To learn more about creating shipping templates, watch the eBay Shipping Prices template video. Select a description template. To learn more about creating a description template, watch the eBay description template video. Enter an eBay top title and click Top Title Approved. eBay sets a limit on how many characters may be used for a top title. This number here shows how many more characters you're able to enter so that you can utilize keywords to improve search results. The product description is taken from the description on the product detail page. You can change the description for eBay by clicking on the Change tab. Change the description and save. Select a hit counter type to choose whether to display the counts of visits on your listings. You can also select a hidden type so that only you will be able to see it. Enabling Get It Fast requires you to offer at least one domestic overnight shipping service. You must ship the item within one business day of receiving cleared payment. The max dispatch time defines how many days you have to ship an order. The available options are determined by eBay. Seller Cloud cannot add other options. You can override your company level return policy and set a new return policy for this product. Checking the Override Return Policy checkbox will reveal the override options. You can also limit sales of the item to buyers who meet certain criteria. Enable the buyer restrictions and select from the restriction options. Enabling strike through pricing will allow you to display on eBay one price with a strike through it and a sale price below it. 